This is part two of Exchange 2007 Service Pack 1, Continuous Cluster Replication. We've configured our network cards, we've placed our machines back on the domain, we've logged in as a domain admin account, and now we are going to start the creating and configuring the Windows 2003 server cluster, specifically the majority node set cluster for Exchange. So what you want to do is go to Start, Administrative Tools, Cluster Administrator, select the down arrow, create new cluster, hit OK. The wizard starts, you hit next, select your domain, your cluster name. <clears throat> Once again, this is not the this will not be the name that your Outlook clients connect to. This is just a management name for the cluster, so you know what cluster it is in your in your environment. So I'm just going to say EX07CCR. Computer name that you want the cluster to be on right now. That's one we're currently on, Node One. It's going to go through here and it's going to check. It's going to generate probably two errors that can be ignored and those two right there can be ignored at this time so simply hit next now you need a management IP address so this needs to be a public IP address in your IP address IP address scheme need to hit my numlock there Now you need to enter the credentials of the cluster server account. Uh, I've already created a domain account and I'm going to allocate that account as a service account specifically for this cluster service. Uh, just take note that this account will be given local admin rights on the nodes in the cluster. Uh, if you want to feel safe go ahead and add that prior to starting your cluster wizard. Mine is So hit next. Now click quorum and in the drop down arrow click majority node set and then hit OK. And then hit next. It's going to take a little while for it to analyze this. After it is finished, anal finished analyzing the quorum, hit next and then finish. Now we have a full working Windows 2003 cluster running, but since there's only one node, it's not very fault tolerant, so let's add a second Windows 2003 server. We can do this by simply right clicking on the node name in the left hand pane of the cluster administrator, and then select new node. So, right click on the name, new node. Once again, this starts another wizard, hit next and find the computer name that you want to be the second node and this is my second node which I have named EX07N2 I select that one select add and then next it's going to take a little bit for it to analyze this one as well after it finishes analyzing hit next now you need to put in the password of the service account. It's the same exact count that we set on node 1. So type in your password, hit next, hit next again. It's going to reanalyze the two nodes together. So it might take a little while for this anal to analyze the, the drives and make sure everything is uh, in line. So we'll pause right here. After it finishes analyzing the second node, hit next and then finish. And now we have a fully functional two node cluster with two servers. So this is the end of part two.
Next we'll be installing an exchange on a third server and then we'll configure the file share witness that goes along with the majority node set on the hub transport server which will be a third physical server on its own row.